Hey guys, today I'll show you how to create a free business email forever using Zoho Mail. So what you need are number one, a personal email. So like a Gmail, for instance, and of course your domain so that you can use your uh, company.com as your email domain. So let's get started. So go to zoho.com and I'll put a link on the description down below so that you can click the link. So do not choose personal email because it will lead you to at zohomail.com. So we will use a business email. So let's say web shanks. So I will put my personal email here and a password so let's use a secure one i'll copy this one and just click agree to the terms of service and privacy policy so just click sign up for free so let's go to our personal email okay we have just copy this one and paste the OTP here and just click verify. And just scroll down. Just choose a free plan. So just click try now. So if you have a domain so click add an existing domain of or if you don't have just buy a do domain you can also buy a uh, name cheap and Zoho has also um, a domain registration so I will just click add now so that will be web shanks that sh sorry shop so that will be web chunks and let's say it and just click add now so let's click proceed to domain verification okay uh, let's go to name chip and we'll add a text record so that will be at so it will be text record our host is at and our value is this one just copy this one paste it here and click save okay let's wait for a few uh, minutes okay let's try to verify the text record and we need to set a super administrator email so I'll just say hello and just click rate For free plan, you can add up to five users, and we will not add one for this because I'm just only one. But if you want to add more, just click add and add a user. Let's go back. So let's proceed to set up groups. Okay, we'll just proceed to uh, DNS mapping. Okay, let's set three MX records. Let's go to Namecheap. And let's go to mail settings. Okay, we will use custom MX. And we'll use 
mx.soho.com with host at we'll set the bar to 10 and save all changes let's add the next it will be 20 20 Click save another one it will be okay sorry it will be 50 click save next we will add an SPF record so that will be a text record we'll go to add new record that will be text record it will be add so let's we'll copy this one paste it here and click save and another text record it will be a DKM and it will be a text record text record oh, sorry it will be Gmail copy the value and just click save changes we will wait for a few minutes and we'll uh, verify all records okay let's verify all records okay great and let's proceed to email migration you can skip this part if you don't have any existing emails from others uh, service provider like uh, workplace so let's go to proceed mobile and we'll we can set this one up if you if you want to use uh, your um, business email to be on your mobile and you can just click here to download uh, Zoho's mobile apps but if you don't want to use the mobile we will proceed to setup completion and let's go to okay let's go to our inbox first okay great okay we'll just skip this one okay let's try to send an email to our gmail so Shanks H1 at gmail.com. Hello. Hi. Okay. From Soho. You'll just send a test email. great we have received the email from from our uh, Zoho mail so if you want to add another inbox you can create up to five inboxes up to five gigabyte per inbox so if you want to add another inbox go to my profile and go to admin console Just close this one and just go to users. Okay, it'll be let's say it's only Stark. Okay, let's uh, auto generate. Okay, we'll just click add. great now we have two users with different emails so before anything else this free business email is intended for transactional emails you cannot use this one for cold emails 
or even for spamming so this is the limit for free um, Zoho mail business email account also you cannot have IMAP and POP3 protocols for free plan and that's it that is how you will create and set up a business email using Zoho mail forever and you can create up to five users and up to five gigabyte of storage per email so that's it if you have any questions just comment them down on the comment section below and i'll try to answer them all and thank you for thank you all for watching and please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you on my next video